Headline News takes you around the world in 30 minutes. Now, Continental Cablevision and the Associated Newspapers bring you the local edition. This is Headline News Local Edition, bringing you the news of Westland and Dearborn Heights. I'm Hilda Bocas, and here's what's happening. A fire started by a cigarette took the lives of two Westland residents. George Millar, 73, and his wife Margaret, 70, died in a fire that gutted their home on 35651 Canyon Drive. Tragically, a fire detector which could have alerted the Millars to the blaze was installed but lacked batteries. The fire, which started in the lower level of the home, spread rapidly. Neighbors alerted the fire department and attempted to rescue the Millars by kicking in a rear door wall. Firefighters from three of the city's four fire stations contained the fire in 25 minutes, according to Assistant Fire Chief George Riley, but found Mrs. Millar dead in her bed. Her husband succumbed to his injuries at Annapolis Hospital. Billowing flames gutted the home, but neighboring homes were untouched. Westland fire officials are again warning residents to check their fire detectors to be sure they are working. It is their hope that another tragedy such as this one will not occur again. A Dearborn Heights man is at the top of this list, but it's no great honor. Francis Michael Deaver, 28, leads the list of 23 people indicted last week by the U.S. Justice Department for participation in allegedly fraudulent telemarketing operations. Deaver has been charged with 32 counts of conspiracy, wire fraud, mail fraud and money laundering according to U.S. Attorney Saul Green. Operating from his home near Kingswood and Amboy, Deaver received over $1.5 million from his schemes. Preying primarily on senior citizens, Deaver would use fictitious names and solicit money under false pretenses. Volunteers recruited from ARP assisted the FBI in the case by posing as potential telemarketing victims. Telemarketers would call and make pitches in the name of local police departments or tell them that they were winners in a contest. Some people responded with donations amounting from $299 to as much as $16,000. Names of the dummy companies set up by Devers included United Net and Sunny Hills, Inc., both with Dearborn addresses. Devers faces up to life in prison and numerous fines if convicted. Headline news will continue right after this. Eileen DeHart plans to keep it just that way. Westlands DeHart decided to reward her Lansing colleagues last week for unanimously voting to approve her first four bills introduced in her first year in office. Rejoicing at the passage of legislation that included proposed changes in state laws to comply with the new Natural Resources and Environmental Protection Act, DeHart was honor bound to celebrate. Stating that in the time-honored legislative tradition to bring a community's most unique and abundant resource to share, DeHart declared her family as such and put them to work baking. Brownies, fudge, magic bars, oatmeal, and chocolate chip cookies were personally delivered to 109 representatives on the House floor. Hopefully they will still be on a sugar high when they next convene to vote on our taxes. Congratulations to Representative DeHart for a job well done. Dearborn residents have two new ordinances on the books. The first ordinance allows city employees to work five years before they are vested toward a pension. The previous pension ordinance required 10 years of work. The second ordinance requires the city's building and engineering department to issue a warning to owners or occupants of property considered blighted and set a deadline for the condition to be corrected. If the owner or occupants are unknown, the notice must be posted on the premises for five days. Both ordinances needed two readings by the council before publication. A third ordinance has been referred back to Mayor Ruth Canfield, who is up to her knees in reworking the issue of tall grass and noxious weeds on residential lots. Headline news. I'm Hilda Bocas. Regular national headline news will return. Stay tuned and stay informed.